The best way to impress your preceptor is to do what they showed you to do, shine, and you know, that way you're a reflection of what they taught you. Of course, with your own spin, but I, I think that's the best way to impress them, to show that they taught you well and that you're really efficient and you can do the job and you can hang. As a preceptor, what I really like to see on the unit and what really impresses me is in the beginning of orientation with me personally, I always email you before you come on the unit and I give you a tip to come in 30 minutes early to look at the assignment, get set up for the day and kind of look at your orders, your medication, so there's no surprises. Not guaranteed that there won't be surprises throughout the day. However, just knowing what you're getting into a little bit before you actually get into it is super helpful. So if you actually take that tip to heart and you do it and you come in and you're there, I think that that is wonderful and it really impresses me. Another thing that impresses me is if you ask those questions and you, you, you are more of the hands-on approach rather than in the corner of the room approach. Not saying that that's wrong, but for me personally, I, I think that it's, it shows a lot about you if you're right there with me learning together as we go hands-on. I make new nurses feel really comfortable because I remember how it felt as a new nurse, you know, being intimidated and just kind of feeling nervous. So I always like to make new nurses feel comfortable and I let them know that I'm here to teach you and I'm not here to judge you and don't be afraid to look stupid. There's no stupid questions, like seriously. One thing that I like to see is them taking initiative, wanting to complete tasks. There are some skills that new grads may find intimidating. For example, changing the, the dressing of a central catheter. Um, it's sterile and it's something that takes time to learn um, and get a hang of. So when I see that, okay, you know, I, if I see them asking me, I want to do this, go, I want to complete this skill. And that impresses me. And also one thing that I really like about our unit is that we all help each other out. So when I see new grads and they're learning and it's not something that they have to do, but when they take initiative and ask, you know, other colleagues if they need help, that's something that really impresses me. So some things that stick out to me when we get new nurses and um, what really impresses me as a preceptor is just the willingness to do and to try because, you know, we know that you're nervous and there's a lot going on, but you're never going to learn if you don't just hop right in there and, you know, trust your preceptor. They're not going to put you in a situation you shouldn't be in, but you have to try um, and practice to become an independent nurse. So in the first couple weeks, a new grad could really impress a preceptor by taking the initiative on tasks and coming to work a little bit early to really get a handle on your day. Basically, taking initiative with those tasks kind of shows that you're eager to learn, you're willing to learn, um, and it's really exciting as a preceptor to be able to teach someone who's so excited. Their willingness to learn and their willingness to learn outside of the 12-hour shift. Um, so their willingness to learn in regards to how um, engaged they are when I'm teaching them and when I do teach them the return response of demonstration, um, what they do in regards to how they build each day on orientation days. So I always tell them each day you come back from orientation is a building block. It's not like 51st dates where we start all over again every day. Um, it should be whatever you learned from the day before or the shift before you carry that over to your next shift. Critical thinking skills. You can have all the information, all the textbook information that you can have in the books, in resources, and all that. The number one thing that I want you to be able to express here is your critical thinking skills. How do all these meds associate with your patient? How does your past history associate with this patient? How does some history, maybe a surgery that happened three years ago, how does that associate to your patient as well? Connecting those dots and making sure that you are able to see the whole picture of the patient will make me very impressed.